Hey, welcome back to my next video with Jerry with Nomadic Snowbirds. I recently did a video about our solar system that I installed on our 36 foot Winnebago motorhome. And what I wanted to do was explain to you a little bit more about it so you'd have a better understanding of it. I did not show you the parts and pieces. I did not show you how much the cost. I didn't tell you anything about that. And I'm gonna do that at the end of this video because it's gonna roll and show you all the parts and all the pieces that I used to put together, all the electronics, the batteries, what I did, uh, you know, to make it work. We spent four months out in the desert with this system and uh, it's a wonderful system. But one of the things I like about it is that when I installed it, I, I installed it in three arrays, not one big 1770 watt array, but three arrays, a 60 amp array, a 40 amp array, and a 20 amp array. And I did that because if one of the arrays went down, I would still have two arrays feeding my batteries. I just thought that was very important. They're completely separate and they all culminate down at the batteries after they go through the charge controllers. And so I just, I just wanted to run a parts and pieces list after this. And so you'll see what I used, what parts and pieces I used to put this system together. You can do this yourself. You do a little bit of studying like I did. Hey, I'm YouTube certified. And I found out everything I need to know on YouTube and I ordered everything through Amazon. It just kept it so simple. I used all the cheap Chinese stuff four years ago and it's still rolling. And it's just as, as good as the day I put it in. So I just wanted to explain that to you. Now I'm gonna run this video with all the parts and pieces on it. I got photographs and the prices and the total cost of the system for me to put it in myself. I'm gonna tell you it was $8,000. Now that's not bad to be completely independent from those people that charge you so much for that electricity. The grid, we're off grid. You get off grid and you'll see how independent you can be. And what I mean by that is you to get about as free as you can get is to be off the grid. You can go anywhere you want to and have your electricity and your water and your everything right there with you in this motorhome. But without the electricity, I would not do this at all. We have a fully electronic kitchen. It, this, this system runs our refrigerator, microwave, little window air conditioner, 6,000 BTU air conditioner, 4.5 amp. I put in uh, the bedroom there, and man, that thing will freeze you out too. It run everything but the big central air. It will run the central heat system because that's propane and it takes about 200 watts to run the fan. So I just wanted to explain that to you. I did not explain any of that to you before. And so watch the rest of this video if you would. And uh, hey, you know, give us a thumbs up. You know, why not, right? Okay, subscribe. I'm gonna be doing this for years. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna to try to help as many RVers as I can. So take care and see me next video, okay? Thank you.